What I'm going to do now is take you through the intro on verse 1. We're just going to do everything as a close-up, um, and I'll take you through each of the licks that he's playing. I'll do a little bit of explaining about the fingering that he's using on the, the tricky bit, but I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert in this kind of finger-style lead guitar, if you like, so I'm kind of guessing. Some of the, it, for me, is a bit obvious. He must be using those fingers. Other times, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So you're predominantly going to be using your thumb and your first finger, but other than that, I'll, I'll point out any bits that are uh, specifically you have to use one of the other uh, fingers, I think. So uh, without further ado, let's go to a close-up and start on the solos. Here we are. So the intro of this tune goes like this. Now sometimes I might note here that I think he's going because I think I can hear two notes in there sometimes but let's stay with the one note for now. Which is all at five and seven on the third string. Then we got this. So all of this is pretty just straightforward D minor really. Middle two strings. Little arpeggio. That's seven, six, five, eight, five, six. Little hammer on flick off, five to six. Of course, this you're going to have to use thumb one, two for your fingering for it. Okay, then the verse starts again. So the, I'll just kind of play through what the chords are so you can see where it's going, but it's going D minor. A, and the first lick is, which is just the fourth fret third string bend, with a little dip in it. Then the same sequence again. And then we've got this lovely, which is here, eleventh fret fourth string, tenth fret second string. Then it goes to an F chord. Now, on the uh, on some videos I've seen here. Mark Knopfler is playing the F like this. You can play the honky tonk like anything. And here's your C. Now, this next little bit I've called Riff 1 on my tab because it happens all the time and I didn't want to write it out loads of times. And this is that. We're starting off here with a first finger bar covering strings 2, 3, and 4. Notice that I'm letting my finger off the strings, just kind of not taking them right off, but relaxing it so that it keeps the notes nice and short. And what we're adding here is the second finger on the second string, sixth fret, third finger, fourth string, seventh fret. Very common movement in lots of stone songs and stuff like that. It's really going to see. This is really part of an F chord. moving that bar down to the third fret there. So I'm calling that riff one because it happens all the time. If you're looking at my tab, you'll need to know that that's what riff one is. And now the next lead lick that we've got is this. So slide five to seven, then seventh fret, and then back. This is, you're having to use the rolling technique here. Then 10th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret. And there's a little trail off as well, a little slide off that note. Quite a nice little lick that, in, all based on D minor again. Okay, next we've got this little riff that is, uh, I'm calling riff 2, which is here. Now what this is here, we're at the 3rd fret. We're going to play all three of our little bars, strings 2, 3 and 4. Then we're adding a little finger at the 6th fret and we're just playing the 3rd string and it, we leave the bar down but we're only playing again the 3rd string and the 2nd string. Pluck them all at the same time using fingers thumb 1 and 2. Then the 3 and the 6 with just fingers 1 and 2. Then use your thumb back on that note to play that one note by itself. Then pluck the fingers and slide the whole thing up. riff to get down that. First time through it actually only plays it once. Yeah, I was just repeating it there for demonstration purposes. And then we've got another lick that keeps popping up. 
just sliding up to the seventh fret on the fifth string. Five, seven, five. And that's all of verse one. Okay, here we are for verse two. So we've got the little chord sequence, of course, where there's the singing. And this beautiful little lick here. Which is here, 11 and 10. Then adding your third finger down there onto the 11th fret. Slide it down. Keeping your second finger on all the time, but now we're at two, the, uh, two eights on the uh, second and fourth string. To first and second fingers on the sixth and seventh fret. Lovely little lick. Then the chords again. Another very nice little lick. This is going 10, 9, 10, 9. Slide down to 7. Slide, well, your finger slides, but you pick the note at 6, 7, 5, 7. F chord. Riff one. Then we got another beautiful. Now this one is using fingers three and four on the tenth fret, first string and third string. Here that's eighth fret and ninth fret on first string and third string, and then which is here two tens, which is on the uh, second string and third string. Nice lick, happens a few times. Then we've got riff two twice. We're sultans. We're sultans of swing. Now we're at the main riff. Okay, so what's going on here is a little D minor chord, which is six, seven, seven. All the fives, all the threes. Then the same little riff, riff that we used before, using this, this shape here. And then we're sliding that up to the tenth fret. And we're just, I'm just playing that fourth string and plucking the strings when you get there. Worth practicing. And then we're to a little C chord, which is eight, nine, and ten. So the main riff. And again. Second time. We've got that nice little riff there again, which is quite common. Okay, here we are now. We're into the third verse. Third verse, check out Guitar George, he knows all the chords, and we got this. Now this is, I'll just get nice and close on this, this is an A7 chord. 7, 9, 8, 9. And it's sliding up to it, just again plucking just the fourth string, and playing the rest of the chord with your fingers, fingers 1, 2 and 3 of course. And then dropping everything except your first finger back one fret, and you get to an A diminished chord, and then back to the A7. Mm -hmm. And it finishes with a D minor, which is 12, 10, 10, 10. That again. Um, and then there's a little bit more rhythm guitar, and then he's got this beautiful lick, he doesn't want to make it cry or sing.